Good morning, everyone. So this morning we are in Palm Springs leading worship at a church here, and I'm very excited. I get to play with Megan, and I get to play piano, and I get to just enjoy this beautiful weather. So it's going to be wonderful. Check, check. Hello everyone, so it's Monday and I thought I would tell you actually what I wanted to do with this room. It's nothing thrilling or anything, but the other day I went to a yard sale and I got two pictures for $20, like $10 each. And when I saw them I was like, I know what I'm going to do with that. So I have not put anything up on the wall, but... As you can see, I just put this, this is not on the wall, it's just like sitting there. But this, I think I'm gonna put this right here. And then this is gonna be kind of like a movie room. It's not for movies, it's just gonna look like got movie stuff in it. So that's Audrey. And then I have these are the two posters that I bought at the yard sale uh, Gone with the Wind and Gilda. They're really cool and they'll go up on the wall right now they're just sitting on the couch but they'll go up and then i have these really cool movie reel canisters and they're gonna go up on the wall somehow as well i don't know about you guys but i have such a hard time like deciding like last time the last house we lived in it took me like a year to put anything on the wall because i just cannot make a decision as to where like, it feels more permanent to me, and I just don't want, I don't know what to do. Once I saw those, I was like, yes, I think I definitely want to put them there. So that helped me make a decision. So I'm looking forward to actually putting them up. But I still have the problem of, like, those are going to go up, but, like, how are those going to go up? How are they going to work with those right there? So I don't really know. So we'll see how it goes. But wish me luck. And when I do put them up and I finish it, I will show you. Hello, everybody. So we are going to the movies tonight, $5 movies. And we're going to see The Commuter with Liam Neeson. I'm going with Jenna and Jade. And I'm excited because it's been a little while since we've had a little, like, night out. So I think it'll be good. It'll just be action-packed and really cool Liam Neeson with his awesome voice and... It'll be good. For five dollars, I mean, how can you go wrong? Because that's an amazing price. <laughs> what? Are you laughing at? Just videoing you. What did I do? <laughs> Nothing. It's gonna be number five on the wall. Thank you. We're ready for some Liam Neeson. Are you ready for Liam? Always. Always. Are you ready for Liam? Huh? Say yes. <laughs> oh yeah. I will teach you, child. <laughs> What do you want from me? So that movie was pretty good. It's a little predictable. Like I knew who he was looking for and right away and you can kind of tell who the bad guy is going to be. But at the same time, I think it was still good. And they like it was good action and Liam Neeson was really good. And there was like some funny bits and like some like, whoa, you're not expecting that bits and like gross bits. <laughs> so I think it was still really good and I would definitely still recommend it. Maybe not to see like for full price in the theater, but we only spent $5. So it's definitely worth $5 in the theater and I recommend it. So thumbs up. Uh, for a thriller, if you're a thriller person and you like thrillers, then it's a good choice. So, I enjoyed it and I'm glad I got to hang out with Jenna and Jade. And that's really all that matters. I get to hang out with them and watch as every time it was like a thriller moment, they just like had their hands up on their face and that was hilarious. So, I mean, that's basically worth the whole movie. Yep. <laughs> Good times, good night, good movie. Hello everybody. So today is National 
hot chocolate day and we are going to the Starbucks and we are ordering some hot chocolate because I was lazy and I didn't want to make it because it never tastes exactly like I want it to taste when I make it but it always tastes wonderful at Starbucks so we are going to get ourselves some hot chocolate it's gonna be super tasty and we are gonna celebrate National Hot Chocolate Day I would like to get a grande hot chocolate Okay. Um, is the smoked butterscotch like just a flavoring? Was that the only drink for you? Yes. Okay, so it's 385. Thank you. Chocolate, chocolate. Yeah. Thank you. Starbucks. Okay, let's try it. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Like, I could have put more butterscotch in that. That's super yummy. Did you know that you can get any flavoring that Starbucks has in a hot cocoa? Oh, you should try it. Butterscotch, good choice. I got two pumps. I think I needed the four, but it was delicious. It's still delicious. Like, it's just like a taste of it. Oh my goodness, that tastes so delicious. Definitely worth it for National Hot Chocolate Day. So go make yourself a hot chocolate and celebrate even if it's too late and January 31 is over. It's okay. Just go make yourself a hot chocolate because it's tasty. Game. 